Hi butterflies, it's Amanda Jean here again with another video and today I'm talking about my latest blog post, 5 ways my dog has taught me to grow. Links to my latest blog post and my social medias can be found in the description below so please be sure to check them out. Guys, on Monday, February the 1st, Duke turned 5 years old and in honor of that, here are five ways that Duke has taught me how to grow as a person. The first one is he taught me to love the Pitbull Terrier breed. Before I actually got to know Duke, the only time that I have ever seen a Pitbull Terrier was on the TV show Pitbulls and Parolis, which airs on Animal Planet. And even though I saw on that TV show that they could be uh, rehabilitated and lovable and kind, I still wasn't really sure about Duke's breed, especially with him being a rescue. But Duke has taught me that Duke is very sweet, very kind, very loving, and the pit bull breed isn't as mean as people sometimes can say. Number two. Duke has taught me that anxiety is not everything in life. Duke suffers from anxiety and I do too. That's just a fact. And the fact is that Duke makes me want to work harder on my anxiety. I'm currently challenging myself to do things that I never thought I would do, like try different food, um, do more exercise, make new friends, things like that. And I'm really starting to improve and I've also been working on Duke with his anxiety, helping him with going for walks, going outside, meeting new people, seeing cats and things, things to help him improve. And we really are. Number three, Duke has taught me not to judge a book by its cover. A lot of people, when they see Duke, they see the pit bull breed and they're not really sure. But once I explain that Duke is a sweet and loving and caring dog and they actually get to pet him and see how loving and playful he is, a lot of people change their mind. So guys, just like the pit bull, t pit bull terrier breed, remember that just because someone has a disability does not mean that they're um, unable to do things. Me as a visually impaired individual can do a lot. Um, I can use my computer with the help of technology. I can read with the help of my technology. I have an echo. So there's a lot of things that I can do. So please, before you judge us, get to know us. We're not as scary or as, as unable to do something as sometimes the media may portray. Number four, have fun with life. Have fun with life. And I've learned that because Duke just enjoys to go outside and bathe in the sun and he loves to go for walks and he loves to, to play, he loves to play fetch. So life isn't as serious as it has to be. Life can be enjoyed. And, so, and lastly, Duke has taught me to let my heart grow. For those of you who don't know, I used to have a Boston Terrier, her name was Noodles, and I had her for 16 wonderful years. And after Noodles passed away in 2015, I thought I would never get another dog. I thought, you know, me and Noodles had such a close bond that I just, I wouldn't be able to manage another one. But that's not true. Duke taught me that I can be a dog mom again. And just because I had noodles from birth to death does not mean I can't love a rescue dog. I'm very, very thankful that Duke decided to run up on December the 16th and come into our family. He is a joy. He is sweet, kind, and loving. Happy birthday, Duke. Mommy really loves you. I really do. And guys, be sure to check me out on TikTok and I post cute videos of Duke on there all the time and other fun and amazing content so be sure to check me out on there and guys please if you like this video be sure to comment, like, 
share, and subscribe. Butterflies, remember, I love you. Stay positive. Fly high, and I'll see you next time. Bye.